What is natural capital? We're hearing about it more and more. It's complex. It's confusing. And although most of us want to educate ourselves, we're all drowning in jargon. So let's break it down. There are three types of capital. Produced capital, machinery, vehicles, buildings, the stuff humans create when we turn things like oil and gas into everyday products like petrol and plastic. Human capital, that's you and I. And the knowledge and judgment that us humans can add. Now, push those to one side is neither of those. Natural capital is basically any of nature's assets. That could be soils, oceans, forests, air, water, all living things. These provide benefits called ecosystem services. So that could be carbon capture, pollination, or protection from things like soil erosion or flooding. But why should investors care? This is Irene. She's an economist and she can explain. Natural capital is a vital asset for the global economy, with more than half of global GDP dependent on natural resources. Risks will arise for companies that don't recognize that our economies are embedded within nature and don't value ecosystem services in their business model. Good to know. Uh, but wait, there's more. There are two types of natural capital, non-renewable and renewable. Oil, gas and minerals are non-renewable, single use, once they're gone, they're gone. Then renewable natural capital, things like the ozone layer, forests and fish stocks. When used in moderation, renewable natural capital can benefit future generations for hundreds of years. But if you deplete the stock, let's just say your great-great-grandkids won't be having fresh fish for dinner. So if it's that important, then why have we humans changed almost three quarters of the Earth's surface and two thirds of the ocean, destroyed half of the world's coral reefs and put one million animal and plant species under threat of extinction? Good question. And we have some good news. Attitudes are changing and momentum is building. Individuals, companies and public figures are now calling for natural capital to be recognized as an economic asset. And soon, firms could be asked to disclose their exposure to nature-related risks. So, as with climate change, if nothing is done, the costs will be high. But change is afoot and gaining pace. 